Hi, I'm K. Raju Gopal. I'm adapting J.M. Sali's Songs of the Waves for Atta 2017. Although it's a difficult book to adapt, uh, I, re uh, I wanted to take the challenge of trying to do it as a short film because, you know, th th that's where the exciting part comes about in filmmaking when you actually put yourself through a challenge and, you know, do something different, try to do something, you know, and it's not like a, a, a complete adaptation. I was just inspired by the, the premise of the story and I was going to make it my own. <laughs> The book was spanning 30 years, you know, which again is impossible, I thought, you know, to in a, in a 10 minute or 8 minute film to create that uh, convincingly. So these challenges and, and having these writers allowing us to, to take the essence of their book and to create a story, uh, I think uh, I, I'm, I really appreciate them for that. The film is actually about my thought process. This whole process of trying to translate the story into film. In that aspect, I thought, okay, maybe I might want to show J.M. Saleh in the film, you know, uh, writing, and then through him, I would introduce the actors. So the actors were going to be J.M. Saleh. They were going to be the writer, and they were also going to be the actor, and then the character. So I had three levels to the story. So the editing is also going to be a bit of a challenge, uh, trying to put all my thought, the thought process that I have uh, lined out to, you know, to put it together and to see how it will all turn out. And I think for me at this stage, that's very interesting. I don't want to make a linear storytelling, you know, a narrative that way. How do I show a ship? Because it's all about passage uh, from uh, on board a ship and it's his thought during his journey from uh, Singapore to India and India uh, to Singapore. So how do I show that? So I said I want paper boats uh, through on the set uh, and you know just as a representation of that journey and I wanted all the actors to make this boat as though the boat which had scripts on it. I used the scripts and I made them make it into paper boats uh, as they unfold or make the boat, they are actually telling their story through that. When you get there, you must put them on her and appreciate her. This project, I mean, Atta, it's a great opportunity for us to be proud of our literature. Uh, I think it is gaining a, a different kind of momentum. As a film person, I see the relevance in the writing, uh, that I, it's strong enough for me to make it into a film. So I think these are important steps that we are taking in encouraging Singapore literature to be, or, to be produced into films. I think it's good that it's being published and you know, people read it, but I think when it's made into a film, it has a bigger reach uh, or a better reach.